Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D. In this exercise number one, we will combine design surfaces. In chapter 17, we created a pond design with uh, that result in a surface representing the shape of the pond. We also perform some load grading and if you had continue working on a lot grading for a new hours for a few hours uh, we eventually would have finished all the lots creating a surface that covered nearly the entire project in chapter 9 you know about designing in 3d using corridors we created a corridor surface to represent the model of the road <laughs> this approach of designing the shape of the terrain in part in common and recommended for even the most talented designer it is difficult to design all except aspects of a project at once it is easier and often more efficient to divide the design into many designs such as roads lots and ponds that you experience for yourself when the parts are in place it's then time to combine them into one master surface which we will do in this exercise number four for example when we passed one surface into another the past the pasted version is a live copy of original meaning if the original is modified the pasted version will be also modified okay so let's start our exercise number one for chapter number 18 you can download this drawing from description link with the name of combined surfaces In this exercise we will create an FG fine surface for combining surfaces representing lot grading road elevation pond grading and a small area of daylighting which you can see here we have some daylights and you will open your drawing you will see these three viewports and here we have some daylight between lot number 13 and lot number 16 in prospector tab go to surface and you can see here we have many surfaces which we will play with all of them to paste them in one surface for that i will create one another surface fg and your style should be 0.5 meter and 2.5 meter as design surface click ok in prospector tab now expand fg then definitions and here you have edits and right click to select past surfaces it will open past surfaces dialog box to you just select lot exterior here and then click ok you can see contour representing the grading of exterior lot appear in the left viewport and in the bottom viewport here you can see a 3d model of interior grading now in the left viewport when you have active zoom into the interior lot area here and more and note now haphazard contour extending across the road here this area just select the surface any red line you can select to visible this contextual tab and then click edit surface and you can select here Past surface command also here it will open same 
now select road fg and this one and click ok you can see some changes in our surface in the road areas the contour you saw replace with contour that accurately represent the road elevation in the 3d model here the roads are accurately represented and if you zoom in active this post and you can zoom in and you can see the curve and crown of the road also they are also clear the interior lot area is uh, still empty because this area has a height bound boundary applied to it in the road FG surfaces now activate your left viewport and repeat the same method and now select point surface I am pasting these all surfaces in one surface okay Okay, now you can see our pond surface has been created. Now repeat same method for also interior these lots. Interior lots. You will see. Press escape sorry again select your surface and then go to surface properties if you are here on information tab then switch to definition tab on the surface property dialog box now click here add surfaces lots interior and press this upper arrow to make it little up then surface of pound now click ok here you can apply and ok it's nothing and then rebuild the surface the lot grading contours and the correct uh, pound contours are now shown you can see here for pound this is an example of the importance of managing the order of pasted uh, surfaces to achieve the desired result now we can repeat the steps but for this time we will select Lord Daylight Surfaces Contours here Pass Surface and Lord Daylight which we did not add before now you can see contours are uh, shown in the area between Lot 13 and Lot 676, uh, which was not here before. So it's our finish surface for this all project. But we will uh, analyze this surface if it is uh, providing and is according to our design or not. If you want to know about analysis, then watch next video of this chapter.